Hello, it's Scott Manley here. Have you ever heard people say that this idea will save the world? Usually, this is hyperbole. The world might be improved a little, but actual world-shattering threats are few and far between. But there is one idea that hopes to demonstrate a concept that could literally save the world. And the only thing hyperbolic about it is the encounter trajectory the spacecraft will take as it flies towards the asteroid Didymos. But before I talk about this, I do need to tell you that the video is being sponsored by Cosmos Possible Worlds, the third series of the show that brings the universe home for everyone. The new series will be premiering on Fox on the 22nd of September, and the day before the show premieres, there's going to be a special online event called the Cosmos Future Fair Presentation Day, starting at 9am on September 21st on the Fox TV YouTube page. So Cosmos loves to talk about how the universe has shaped life on Earth. And some of these ways are more direct than others. 65 million years ago, a large asteroid or comet crashed into the Earth and helped bring the age of the dinosaurs to an end, making room for the new hotness. And when I say the new hotness, I mean warm-blooded mammals, which were humanity's distant ancestors. While this impact is perhaps the most famous, it's not the only one in the history of Earth. Life formed you know, billions of years ago, and the gradual evolution of the biosphere has been punctuated by a number of sudden events, which some of which may be associated with extraterrestrial impacts. And after four billion years of being at the mercy of the universe around us, humanity has come along and we are the first species that is able to look at the geology, look at the astronomy, put the pieces together and realize that the threat posed by cosmic interlopers are real. Asteroids are no, by no means the only natural disaster which threaten human lives. Storms, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and many other catastrophes can take their toll. But asteroid impacts have a couple of unique properties which make them very special. The first is that most natural disasters can't scale up to the effect the entire globe in the same way that a 10 to 15 mile wide asteroid can. Asteroids that size can be global killers in a way that earthquakes or volcanoes will never be. But more significantly, asteroid impacts can be predicted years or even decades in advance. And that's something that science has yet to figure out for earthquakes, volcanoes, hurricanes, or even pandemics. And predictions are a very powerful tool in disaster preparedness. If you could predict an earthquake, you could have the local population prepared, evacuated, and ensure that structures are reinforced to handle the expected shaking loads. So, next year, the Double Asteroid Redirect Test spacecraft, or DART mission, will launch on an intercept trajectory to the asteroid Didymos, with the aim of demonstrating the ability to divert an asteroid's motion and show that humanity has the technology to shape its destiny in the universe. The target for this demonstration isn't Didymos itself, but its small moon named Dimorphos. But I and many others prefer to call it Diddy Moon. Didymos is about half a mile in diameter and mass is about 50 million tons. Diddy Moon is smaller, only a few hundred feet across and maybe half a million tons. It orbits about half a mile away from Didymos, taking almost 12 hours to orbit. And because this moon is small and in orbit around a parent asteroid, it's a perfect target for this test. The DART spacecraft will launch in July 2021 and encounter Didymus at high speed on October 2022, when the asteroid passes close to the Earth. The spacecraft will be moving at about 13,000 miles per hour relative to the asteroid, and most of the half-ton spacecraft will simply crash into Diddy Moon, making a crater and hopefully changing the speed of the small asteroid by a tiny amount. The prediction in, is the change of speed will account for a few feet per hour, and it might change the period of the orbit by a few minutes. Because it's a double asteroid, it's much easier to detect this tiny change in the orbit around Didymus instead of an asteroid in deep space where the orbit would be referenced around the Sun over much longer distances. So the change in speed and orbital period will be much easier to observe for Didymoon. 
Since the main spacecraft will be destroyed, the impact and the follow-up will have to be tracked by telescopes on the ground and by a small secondary spacecraft called Licia Cube, the Light Italian CubeSat for imaging asteroids, which will provide close-up imagery of the energetic event. At the speed and mass and energies, it will be equivalent to watching an explosion of, of a two-ton bomb. The European Space Agency also has plans to send a separate follow-up mission called HERA. So if this works, it will be an amazing demonstration that humans are able to change the universe around us. A truly profound capability that will ensure that humanity's future doesn't end up going the way of the dinosaurs. So I hope that leaves you with a great sense of optimism and I hope that you'll want to tune in for the premiere of Cosmos Possible Worlds and the Cosmos Future Fair Presentation Day. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.